<laughs> Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ben Davis and I'm the writer of the private blog of Joe Cowley. I'm here to welcome you to this vlog. Vlog, is that what it's got? That doesn't sound right to me. Yeah, apparently it's called a vlog. Anyway, I've been racking my brain trying to think of a way to demonstrate what this book is all about. And I thought a good way to do that would be to hire some top-notch actors to come and recreate a scene from the book. Uh, but it turns out that actors won't work for biscuits. And uh, not even some of those Hollyoaks guys. Uh, so then I thought I could call some friends to see if they could come and help. Hello, mate. Do you want to come and be in this vlog thing I'm doing? Ah, come on. Come on, surely that restraining order's expired by now. Ah, come on, surely they can let you out for one day. Oh, they've got you in a padded cell now. Oh, drag. Look, I know it's not an emergency per se, but could you just send me a couple of firemen? Okay, how about one paramedic? Hello? So it looks like I'm a bit stuck, but as they say, the show must go on, so I, like Eddie Murphy, I'm gonna play all the characters myself. It's fine, it's fine, I trained at RADA. Everything's gonna be okay. Uh, now, the scene I'm gonna recreate is invo involving Joe and his two best friends, Harry and Ad. Now, Harry and Ad are always pestering Joe because they want to go to this thing called Buzzfest, and I think the best way to do that would be to fake a funny video and send it off to You've Been Framed for the £250 prize. Uh, but Joe doesn't want to do that because every attempt so far has ended up with Ad in A&E. And he thinks one day it's going to be him. But this meeting actually isn't about that, it's about something much more important. It's about Joe and how he can get rid of his arch nemesis slash future stepbrother, Gav James, and get him out of his life so he can finally snog the girl of his dreams, Lisa Hall. Now, without further ado, I'm going to go and recreate the scene. I'm just going to be in my trailer, getting ready. And by trailer, I mean shed. The state he left my room, it was unbecocking, leaveable. Little fag ends everywhere, burns on the curtains, empty booze bottles on the floor. And what's worse, someone found my Star Trek annuals and drew hair on Captain Picard. Hair on Picard? Then not over Star Trek Captain, I've hair drawn on him. William Shatner wore a wig, if that's what you mean. I don't know what I mean. <laughs> that one's going on his tombstone. Anyway, what have you guys been up to this weekend? I discovered that if you play the latest Justin Bieber album backwards, it still sounds terrible. See what Justin Bieber's latest album then? Uh, no, it's, it's, it's my sister's. You haven't even got a sister. <laughs> You've got Bieber fever. Bieber fever is such a lame catchphrase. If I had it my way, it'd be called the Bebonic Plague and would be treated as such. Anyway, anyway, I almost forgot to ask. How did your little study date with Lisa go? You boldly go where many men have gone before. Hey! Well, come on, old boy, she does have a reputation. Yeah, well, so does your mum. Good one. Look, if you must know, we kind of almost, but didn't quite manage to kiss a little bit. What do you mean you almost kissed, old boy? Did you trip and land on her face? No, we're about to kiss, I think, but something happened. What happened? Yeah, tell us, Joe. Did you accidentally headbutt her or something? Did you call her someone else's name? Did you show her all your Star Trek annuals? Oh my God, did you fart and follow through? Out with it! Gaff walked in. She knows about our situation. <laughs> oh, bum. You're one unlucky human being. Do you know that old bean? So what happened after that? She, she just left. My life is actually, literally, over. Don't be such a defeatist soldier. What would have happened if the Allied forces just laid down and taken it back in 1939? We'd all be speaking German. Too right we would. Now let's see some fight. But I just can't see a way of changing anything. Oh, there's always a way, Elsa. There's always a way. <laughs> I'll pick that chip up off the floor, Harry. <laughs> 